All right, here we go with the watch list video for Friday, May 26th. The SPY, another green day and all time highs again. Very impressive strength in the market. So here's my watch list for Friday. PULM just goes back on watch. I've had this on watch really since this pop and it's just kind of flagging. I think it needs to get over three with some volume before I'm interested, but goes on watch. SPWH had a really nice pop here and flagging. Certainly interesting over six. We're gonna see if it gives any kind of other intraday setup on an intraday basis. Crazy move in this SPI. Look at the volume there, 11 million and from whatever it was, I don't know, under 50 cents maybe? Yeah, 46 cents to the high was 240. I mean, that's an insane move, um, but should get some attention tomorrow. So if it can give us a low risk setup, I may give a give that one a shot and it may do nothing. Um, BCRX, nice volume spike today. I actually called this today in the chat room and I, I hold on, let me get the after hours off of here. Okay, so um, in the probably six, seven minutes in, I called this over 650, over the half. Um, and it popped back through the high of day, came back down, chased me out. I, I scalped some, came back down, I made $199 in the trade. And then, and I had pretty good size, but you know, I got filled right through the half. It popped, I thought I had one as it started to come down back out, $199 and ended up going up very nicely from there. So just uh, trading poorly lately. And I think the market's, it, it, it's a symptom of the market because things are not following through that well. And then when they do, it's hard to stay in them. Um, but keeping a steady course anyway, um, that's, that's SP, let's see, this BCRX, um, NTNX. Um, this one's interesting anyway, uh, because of the chart, because you had this gap up here and it's really been flagging. So for that reason alone, it's interesting. But then in after hours, this thing's trading close to 20 bucks, 1961 as I'm speaking. So I like this little flag and then it's gapping up. Potential gap and go tomorrow, so we're gonna watch that one. NK, um, yeah, you got a few topping tails here, so I don't really like it, but it's worth watching. Uh, let's look at it on 15 minute candles here. Okay, so you had the big move, and then it put in a higher low and a nice pop, and you're really flagging after the secondary pop. So, you know, if you get up over this 440 area, it might just retake some of the recent highs. So I do think it's worth watching. It looks a little cleaner when you look at it on 15s versus the daily. Um, I N O. After the gap up on nice news on, well, maybe, at least I thought it was nice news um, a couple sessions ago. Let's see, that would have been Wednesday. All, sold off all day, sold off all day again today. Maybe this one catches a bounce tomorrow. It's certainly not that bullish, um, but it's interesting. And then GLBS had this huge volume spike on, uh, and we had a great trade from $1.01 to $1.77 was, was the run that thing made um, yesterday. And then today, kind of a quiet, much lower volume inside day. Um, so we're going to watch for maybe a third day play in this one tomorrow. And that is my entire watch list. Um, we'll add some gappers in the morning as well. Hopefully catch a nice gapper. Remember, this is the Friday before a three-day weekend. Memorial Day is Monday. So uh, don't expect a lot of volume, especially in the afternoon. And trade accordingly. All right. Have a great night.